Hi guys! I know not everybody was able to join our Google Meet earlier today, so I'm going to read you the story that I read. It's called Goldie Clux and the Three Bears. It was written by Charlotte Gillian and illustrated by Dawn Beacon. Here we go. Goldie Clux and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, three bears lived in a beautiful cottage in the woods. One day, Mother Bear made porridge for breakfast. While they waited for their porridge to cool down, the three bears went outside to play. They had not been gone long when a small chick called Goldie Clucks arrived and looked through the window. Goldie Clucks was hungry. When she saw the porridge, she went inside to eat some. The biggest bowl of porridge was too hot. The middle-sized bowl of porridge was too cold. But the smallest bowl of porridge was just right. So Goldie Clucks gobbled it all up. Then Goldie Clucks saw the three bears' chairs. She tried sitting on the biggest chair, but it was too bouncy. So she tried sitting in the middle-sized chair, but it was too saggy. Finally, Goldie Clucks jumped onto the smallest chair. It was just right. But as she landed, there was a loud crack. Goldie Clucks had broken it. Next, Goldie Clucks saw the three bears' beds. She tried the biggest bed, but it was too hard. She tried the middle-sized bed, but it was too messy. Finally, Goldie Clucks tried the smallest bed. It was just right. She climbed right in and went to sleep. Soon the bears came home, ready for their breakfast. But somebody had been eating their porridge. My porridge is all gone, wailed Baby Bear. Next, the bears noticed someone had been sitting on their chairs. What's this feather doing here, growled Father Bear. Suddenly, Baby Bear burst into tears. Someone has sat on my chair and broken it, he cried. Finally, the bears saw their beds. Somebody has been sleeping in my bed, shouted Baby Bear, and she's still in it. The three bears roared with anger. At this, Goldie Clucks woke up with a squawk. When she saw the three bears, she flapped out the window as fast as her little wings could carry her. And from that day on, the three bears always remembered to lock their doors and windows when they went out to play. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story.